Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials and today's tutorial is going to be quite an odd one. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a working piñata. So what we clearly have to do is just beat the stuffing out of this sheep or I should say beat the candy out of this sheep until the candy comes out. Now I know that sounds a little cruel but I think animals make the best piñata and I feel like the Jeb sheep makes the best piñata because it has such vibrant colors. So clearly all I have to do is just take my gas powered stick right here and beat the candy out of our sheep. So let's go ahead and get right into this thing. So let's beat our sheep up. And once he dies, all the candy will start spewing out of the ceiling. Now there is, of course, a couple of flaws, guys. This is obviously kind of like a prototype thing. I've never seen something like this before, but hopefully I can make a better one in the future. Two of the major flaws that I don't like about this is sometimes the items will get stuck up top. Now I tried everything to get around this. I don't know if there's a bug going on right now that items are spewing out of the tops of dispensers, even though they're facing downwards. But I literally made this thing like three layers high and it still made the items fly up. So I have no way around that. So sometimes items will get stuck up here. Also, it uses string to update this piston right here. So if you're whacking the sheep like this and you hit the string and the string breaks, then obviously the candy will start spewing out right away as well. However, this thing is a very easy reset. All we have to do is literally just flip up this lever, which I clearly already did. But literally when this is down like this and everything is activated, all you have to do is flip up this lever, make sure the dust goes off. Then all you have to do is come down here, delete these two slabs right here. And then inside of these dispensers is where you'll be putting in your candy or whatever you're going to be using. I just use dye because it looks like hard candy you can obviously use actual food that would make sense in minecraft but we're gonna go ahead and fill up this area next all you have to do is just take out a sheep or whatever animal you want to use as your pinata put a lead on it and then literally just put the lead right back onto this fence post right here and then come back down here and take out your slabs and go ahead and put your slabs back in so you have to do the slabs last because you have to get your sheep into the middle of the area the reason why i did this is because if you're whacking the sheep and he goes flying off the area he'll go past the string thus updating this making it so it will turn on even though the pinata didn't break and also i did the slabs like this for the candy as well as you can see our dispensers are right here to put in our candy in and you don't want to have it open like this because then people could just go inside of it and take it out right away anyway then i'm going to go ahead and name my sheep jeb i just have a nice little jeb underscore name tag here and we're going to make them all colorful again and it's ready to go again so once you got everything in just flip down your lever and your pinata is ready to go once more so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys all right guys so for this build we're going to need a five by five spacing on your ceiling and you're going to have to have enough room to go up at least four blocks from your ceiling and however you want to make how high your ceiling go right ahead it could be three blocks four blocks five blocks it just has to be able to reach the pinata to break it so for this build we're going to need three droppers one piston one redstone comparator one redstone repeater 10 redstone dust one lever we're also going to need a furnace we're going to need one oak fence or whatever kind of fence you really want to use some blocks of choice we're going to need at least four stone slabs i don't know why i have five right there we're going to need one sand block we're also going to need a lead and obviously a sheep and then you can name your sheep jeb underscore if you really want to it doesn't really matter and we are also going to need at least one piece of string so once you've gotten your five by five spacing on your ceiling, go to the middle of it and literally delete that middle block right there. And we're going to put a piston facing upwards with our sand block on top of it. We no longer need our piston or our sand blocks anymore. Once you've gotten your piston with your sand block on top of it, what I want you to do is go to the right hand side and put a block right here with some redstone dust and then some redstone dust down from here. Then we're going to go ahead and put our lever right here. Obviously, you could change where your lever goes as long as you just bring the redstone current to it. You can even put it right here if you really want to. It doesn't really matter. However, I just have it like that. Next, what I want you to do is flip down your lever and just leave it on like this. So now you can actually check it right now. If you go here and put any block next to this piston, it will update it, pushing the sand block. And then to reset it, all you have to do is just flip up the lever and then flip it back down. And as you can see, I'll do it one more time. It updates, flip it up and then flip it down so once you've gotten your dust with your lever what i want you to do is put a block right here next to the sand once again and put a comparator coming out of the sand block going this way like that and then on this side we're going to come up a block and put a furnace here and put at least one item inside the furnace i'm going to go ahead and put a piece of redstone dust inside a furnace like this so when this gets updated and this block pushes up our comparator will come on so if i go down here and i update it right here like this boop, oh there we go as you can see our comparator comes on because there's an item inside of this furnace thus sending the current through this block into this comparator so let's go ahead and just refix this so i'm going to delete that flip this up and as you can see it turns off and then flip it back down and then it goes back on next what i want you to do is put your comparator into subtraction mode so just left click your comparator and as you can see the little front part comes up so we want this to be on subtraction mode put a block in front of it 
a block down then we're gonna put a repeater coming out of this block going this way on one tick delay like that put a block in front of your repeater a block to the side a block going right next to your comparator and then two pieces of redstone dust like that so once our piston updates and the block goes up this is going to create a redstone clock thus pushing out all of our treats from our dispenser so if i update it once again let's do it again as you can see it creates a redstone clock and then we're going to have our dispensers right here and right here pushing out our treats next what we're going to go ahead and do is put in our two droppers i don't know why i said three but we're only going to need two so we're going to delete this block right here next to the piston and if we come down here we're going to delete the block to the left of this one we just delete it like that and put a dropper facing downwards right here and right here and this is where our treats are going to be coming out of so you can go ahead and fill this up with whatever you want right now then up top right here all we have to do is bring this current over to both of these droppers so all you have to do is just put a block right above this one put a piece of redstone dust here and a piece of redstone dust here and as you can hear our droppers are going on and off next what i want you to go ahead and do is reset everything so just come over here and flip up your lever just to reset everything so we don't have to hear those droppers going on and off on and off forever next right above this sand block we're going to come up two blocks so one two and then we're going to go ahead and put in a fence post right here so put a fence post right here and then delete these two blocks just like that and that's where our sheep or whatever animal you're going to be using is going to be dangling from this and last but not least we can go ahead and put in our string and our sheep so come right down here and then off the piston go ahead and put your string like that and then take out your sheep put a lead on your sheep and then bring your lead up here and fasten it to this fence post like that so now your sheep should be bobbing up and down right here now we can go ahead and put our slabs in so come back down here and then right around the sheep we got to put four slabs so put one and then go into sneak mode to put them on the dropper so go into sneak mode two three and usually you won't get it perfectly i got it perfectly but what i like to do is if your sheep is like out of order like let's say my sheep's over here like this what i like to do is i usually put two slabs in like this and then push your sheep into the corner of the two slabs just like that and then go ahead and put in your last slabs and that's it guys you are completely done so now all we have to do is just flip down this lever right here and it is ready to be used so once we kill the sheep we should get our goodies from our pinata so take out your gas powered stick or whatever kind of stick you're using and you know what? let's make them a jeb sheep too so now all we have to do is beat the candy out of the sheep so hit the sheep until the candy comes out so boop, there we go and then the candy should start popping from the ceiling i went ahead and put some redstone dust inside mine but there you guys have it that is how you build my pinata if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest video all right guys peace